Today I'm doing something different. This isn't going to be your typical 3D printing review. Elgu says the Centauri Carbon can print right out of the box. So I'm going to put that to the test. No tweaks, no tuning, no adjustments. Just unbox, load filament, and print. The challenge? Well, we're going to do a full-size Hellboy mask, because Halloween is right around the corner. I'm Aaron, you're watching The Printosaurus, and we are going to get right to it. Out of the box on the table, I have the power plug plugged in. We're ready to turn this thing on. A couple of things you had to do for physical setup when you do get it out of the box. You have to mount the front screen. Uh, you've got a zip tie on the tool head, and then you've got various foams and plastics within that you do need to remove. Also, the bed is secured by three screws, so please make sure you get those removed as well. We are ready to turn this thing on. You guys ready? So once turned on, I was ready to start printing that Hellboy mask. And guess what? We had to push on the brakes a little bit. When this powers up, it does want to do an auto calibration and a self-check diagnosis and everything. And that took about 30 minutes. So we waited and waited and waited. Next up, our project. Today's video is brought to you by JustWay, JustWay.com. If you're looking for dedicated CNC or 3D printing services, JustWay might be the answer. They offer CNC 3D printing services at very good prices. Customer service has been fantastic. Just the way you like, JustWay.com. Check them out. So as far as the project goes, I wanted to do something that really pushed this machine from the get-go. So I picked something that printed for very long time. The link to the artist's files are down below, uh, so please give them a like and everything. I found it on Maker World. But as far as printing for the main part of the mask, it took 12 hours. And immediately after that, I wanted to print the bottom half of the mask, which was another four hours. So 16 hours consecutively is what I did to test this unit. And let's take a look at our final project. So here is our mask. This is what we ended up doing, the Hellboy mask here. This is the bottom. We've got some ears, we've got some hair. We even got a little soul patch, the little chin for uh, Hellboy. So let's talk about the main part of the mask. This was the first thing that I printed. It turned out relatively well. I did have a support fail here in the back, but um, we should be able to cut all that out. It doesn't look like it affected the mask itself. So let's go ahead and get these supports broken off. Everything pulls away nice and neat. And looks like just a very minor cleanup. So I've got all the main supports broken away. I feel like this is a big success. It looks really good. Let's see how well all this goes together. I've got my glue, so we're gonna use glue. This glue works really well. So we have this part here that clips in place on the bottom. I'll show you a close up. We've got this kind of hinges. We're gonna go ahead and press this in place without breaking it, hopefully. We still have some teeth that we need to print. I realized I didn't print the upper part of the teeth, so we'll print those. But so far, not too bad. Next up, we need to glue a couple parts. We're gonna glue these on the side. These are the hair. So we will take this. We're gonna take some of our gloop, gloop it up. And we're gonna take this piece and just stick it in place. Seems pretty good. I'll flip it over. And we are gonna gloop the other side here. We'll take our piece, press it in place. So everything's fitting nicely. So everything's precise so far. Um, very repeatable. Both sides went in without any issues. Now we got our sole patch. Sole patch goes right here in the front. So we'll go ahead and glue that in place as well. What do you guys think so far? Look pretty good. This is a great model. Printed really well. I'm very impressed so far with how well this guy printed. Let's go ahead and get these ears on. We are almost done. Still need to do the, uh, there's a band that goes here in the back. So I'm gonna have to have my wife uh, sew a band on there for me. So far, so good. One thing I haven't done is I haven't tested to see if this actually fits my face. I, uh, I definitely rolled the dice and just printed this. Word of caution, if you're doing a project like this, probably a great idea 
to measure this to make sure it fits this. Otherwise, you waste uh, quite a bit of time. Like I said, 16 hours to uh, get this stuff printed. Let's see if this thing actually fits. Oh, we got lucky. Let's see what's cool about this is when you move your mouth, put the rubber bands there, it should move. But this thing fits perfect. I got pretty lucky there. All right, so we do have some minor cleanup. I still need to print some teeth here, but let me bring you in for a close up. You guys can take a look at the final product. Elegoo Centauri Carbon. Can you print right out of the box? I think so. This thing came out really good. Really, really good. Great file. Props to the gentleman that created this down below. Please take a look at their link. This thing printed really well and it is almost Halloween time. So thanks for watching everybody. Really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you guys think of my print. Tell me what you guys think of the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. It is $280 right now on sale. And I feel like for a first print, this thing did a fantastic job. And this printer is as advertised so far. Uh, so if you guys got any questions, again, down below, comment, and I will do my best to answer you guys. See you guys in the next video.